Good afternoon, um, Facebook Live. I want to welcome y'all to another installment of the G-Long Spotlight Series. I'm so excited to have a very special guest with me today. You know, I'm excited about, you know, all the great things that's going on in her life. And um, she's from Cleveland, Ohio. She's not, she's not only a great, awesome woman who's doing great things, but she's also my little cousin. And I'm very proud of the great things that she is doing. And without further delay, I'm going to bring um, Jawan Smith. She's with me today. Little cousin, how's it feel? How you going? How you doing? I'm good, cuz. I'm doing good here. How's everything there? <laughs> Everything's good. I, I see you You got the head look on point. <laughs> you don't, I, I, you don't I, look like... <laughs> what you say? You try. I, try. I know how y'all get down. And, <laughs> I know how y'all get down on that side of the family. <laughs> You know, I got to keep it together. Got to keep it together. You're definitely doing that. And I'm going to um, read just a little bit of your bio so the listeners can know, you know, who we're talking to. We're talking to a powerhouse. You know, this is not a small thing right here. I'm really honored because I know you're all over the country doing interviews and TV shows, all kinds of stuff. And just to take time out of your busy schedule just to sit down with me for a little bit. Now, Jawan Smith, she was, she was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio. She's the CEO of Getting Out Baby College 101. And also she's the CEO of 1000 Ties. She's also a motivational speaker. Let me find out. <laughs> she's also a motivation. <laughs> She's also a motivational speaker. And I'm also excited, really excited about this last thing that I'm about to read. Um, she's also a new author. She's a new author. Today is the, the official release of her first book, Zakari Goes to College. Wow. Yes. I'm just so excited about, you know, the things that you are doing. Now, tell me, tell us a little bit about your new book, Zakari Goes to College. How did that come about? So Zakari Goes to College actually just kind of, like most of the things I've been doing, was just a part of my life that happened. And I decided to share uh -huh. with the world. So I took my son to um, North Carolina a &T. We went on a college visit. And I took my grandson. And when I say he uh -huh. had a ball, Zakari had a ball from the marching band to riding through the stroller the stroller through the campus and seeing all of the people like he had so much fun and for me as i was watching him i was watching the book unfold and so for me it would it meant i needed to put it on paper wow and you definitely did that that today is actually the official release for the book yes so this is an exclusive right here y'all <laughs> an exclusive <laughs> and I want to make sure that y'all um, support Jawan in this endeavor. Now, if they would like to purchase, where is this book being sold? How could they purchase this brand new book? So they can get it off Amazon. It's on Target.com. It's on Barnes and Noble. It's also on, um, I just saw that it's on um, eBay. It's on my website, JawanSmith.com. So if they get it off of my site directly, they can get an autograph copy. If it comes from Amazon or the other places, I can't sign it unless you're local. But if you get it from my website, you can get an autograph copy. That's JawanSmith.com. Wow. This book is actually, it's a children's book, correct? Yes. So it's, yes. it's, def yeah, it's definitely a great gift that for you to get for your son, your daughter, your grandson, your granddaughter, your niece, your nephew, any little kid in your family, it will be some great inspiration for them. So yeah. definitely, uh, you definitely want to purchase this book. And also, she's the CEO of Getting Out Babies to College 101. Now, let our listeners know a little bit about this endeavor. So Getting Our Babies, 
getting our babies to college 101 came about with me trying to help my daughter get prepared for the college prep process. As a parent, I really didn't feel like, you know, there were a lot of resources that were given to me to be able to help her get through the process. And I knew that right. it was gonna be an uphill journey. Like the school has, you know, a couple things for the kids, but I kind of felt like the parents were being left out. So what I decided to do was after I got my daughter to college, all of the things that I learned, I put it together in curriculum so that I could teach other parents. So three years ago, that became an official program after I won some money in an Accelerate competition. Wow. And I know with, with the pandemic going on, they are still um, children that just graduated high school. Yeah. that you know are going to college now how has that been how have you been able to adjust you know with the pandemic going on to still be able to help you know families and kids who need help with this process well i live on zoom i'm on zoom from the time i get up to the time i go to bed so i do um, free community sessions that anyone can log into but then parents can also contact me directly for a personalized 101. And we just go through the process. We, you know, break down the transcripts, figure out what their passions are to try and make what's the best decision for that household at that time. Because right now, more than ever, you know, looking at finances is very important. So you have to make the best decision for the child and for the household as a whole. Right. That would be correct. Because I know people, you know, they need they don't know how to get the resources. There's so much stuff that is available to people. But if you don't know about it, you can't get it. So I commend you for, you know, doing what you do, because the thing is, you could have been selfish. OK, I went and got the stuff for my daughter. Exactly. You, you know, you on your own. Exactly. But you're sharing, you know, this information with people with families who need this re these resources who may not have you know the money and the funding to um, pay for their child to go to college but that is definitely you know a blessing to yeah. share you know what you learn your experience you know a lot of times like i say what we go through a lot of times is not for us it's for others it's to be a blessing to others so I, I definitely commend you for that. And I, I thank God for what he's doing in and through you. And also, I know you had you you founded um, the 1000 Ties. Yes. Now, um, how did that come about? 1000 so, Ties. I kind of stumbled into the 1000 Ties. Um, as I was going through the Getting Our Babies to College workshops, I just noticed that there were so many skills that the young men, they just didn't have. And so with my son, I, I noticed, you know, he has those skills because I'm on him all the time. Like he knows to shake hands and uh -huh. make eye contact and those type of things. Like he learned how to tie a tie on YouTube. And when he did that, it clicked for me. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like he's not the only child that has to go on YouTube to learn how to tie a tie. Here in Cleveland, right. almost 50 percent of the households are single parent households with no active male in the household at all. Hmm. So all of those young men are missing those skills that, you know, back in our day we got because the household setups were different. So I came up with the idea to just have an afternoon of just community and mentorship by providing workshops right. and bringing in regular men from the community to work with the young men and the community donated the ties. I had a goal of a thousand ties. We got almost 5,000 mm -hmm. ties our first year. And it just has grown into something so much larger. Like now I have an etiquette program that's added into it where we're teaching them dining, wow. social, emotional etiquette and how to network and how to do things without your cell phone because they're on their phone all the time. So they're missing that key component to be able to interact with other people. So um, the program is continuing to grow. We're actually, the plan was this year to take it on the road. We were supposed to come to Baltimore. <laughs> so now- Oh yeah, let's, let's make it happen when, once, once the pandemic is over. Right, right. So we're, we're waiting on everything to kind of relax. And then our plan is to hit 
those cities that have high numbers like Cleveland, where you have a lot of single parent uh -huh. households, high poverty numbers, because these are skills that they can use for you know a lifetime. The the tools and the things that I've learned, I've won multiple pitch competitions here. Like I'm in a pitch competition at least once or twice a year. And so I take those skills and I actually teach people how to market themselves. So I call it pitch perfect. So in essence, you're doing a elevator pitch on yourself. And this could be used in all aspects of your life, whether it's interviewing for a job, interviewing for a scholarship, interviewing for college. So just trying to teach life skills to everybody. That is truly awesome. Now, I know that you started it in Cleveland. Who are some of the men in Cleveland that have been helping you, you mentoring the young men, showing them how to tie ties? You want, do you want to shot some of them out? Oh, of course. I have uh, my foundation of me and that support me is amazing. Of course, my cousin, Dr. Antoine Moss, is front and center. Um, my my right hand uh -huh. man, Jamel Carr, he is a part of Omega Psi Phi, so he brought in the fraternities. Uh, Mr. Wayne, um, he actually is a designer, so he brings into the, the fashion component. Um, I have Al Grimes, who runs the Cuyahoga County Fatherhood Initiative, and he helps a lot with curriculum. So right now, I'm partnered with all of the fraternities. All of the state and local and uh, federal local organizations like the county. Uh -huh. So I'm getting volunteers from all of them. I just uh, secured a partnership with the NFL Alumni Association. So it's just continuing to grow. More and more people are, you know, getting on board and wanting to become mentors for the young men. Wow, that's definitely <laughs> awesome. I also um, seen that you actually do professional voiceovers. I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> yes. Um, I started in radio at 18. I worked um, here for radio um, 93 FM and 107.9 back in the day. So um, I was thrown into a lot of voiceover and commercials. And my friend just continued to groom my voice and to show me how to read the scripts. And then when I started working uh -huh. in TV, it just really blossomed out. I'm on multiple TV commercials. So now it's grown into corporate training videos. Since everything is online now, more corporations are starting to create these virtual training segments. So that's kind of my foundation in that area right now. Wow. Now I'm about to put you on the spot. <laughs> now, we of course, you know, we have Awesome Guard Radio. So okay. if you were to do like a commercial or voiceover or voice drop for our station, what would that sound like? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Awesome Guard Radio. Oh, yeah. That, I, I hear the radio on you. <laughs> I hear you, little cuz. <laughs> and also, why I have little cuz on the line. We also got, I also have to give a birthday shout out to my big cousin, Antoine Moss. It is his, uh, I mean, I, that's Uncle my little Jay. cousin. It's Uncle I mean, Jay's Eugene birthday. Moss. Eugene Moss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not Antoine. <laughs> it's Uncle Jane's birthday. But, uh, big birthday. Yeah, big birthday shout out to uh, cousin Eugene, as we used to call him, Blue Jane in Baltimore. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, <laughs> Ben started that. I, I don't know why they call him Blue Jean. But uh, <laughs> this I is also, going this, before we um, leave off, I actually wanted to, um, because my son won this scholarship. And I found this scholarship uh -huh. just, you know, I do research. I'm up all night looking for money. And so as I am, I'm always trying to share information. My grandparents raised me that way. You know, you won't be blessed if you retain information. So every right. opportunity I get, I want to be able to share the information about the 1890 grant scholarship that my son won. It's a very hard scholarship to get, but it's there. And it's a partnership with the USDA and the 19 um, of the HBCU colleges, the land grant colleges. And what the wow. USDA does is they're trying to promote um, students to go into environmental science studies type of professions. 
and they pay for their tuition, their books, their room and board, all their fees. They get a paid summer internship with benefits and they are guaranteed employment by however many years that they pay for them to go to school. And so if you know anybody that's interested in becoming any kind of thing in environmental science, food studies, animals, plant life, research, have them look up that scholarship because my son will be going to college for free. Wow, that's awesome. And that's another little big cousin. <laughs> like, he's about what, six five? Six four and a half. Six five. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter. When I come down to Cleveland, I'm going to still get him on a basketball court if he's not away in college. <laughs> and he but will you, definitely be right. <laughs> oh. You shaking your head looking like, oh, George, you don't want those problems. <laughs> I'm going to just say that Deontay ended up with a broken ankle the last time he played my son. Literally. Wow. <laughs> a broken <Yeah>. ankle. <laughs> so I say well, be cautious. <laughs> well, my thing is I'm not going to try to bang with him. I'm a jump shooter. So... <laughs> I probably hit them with the one, two crossover, then pull up for three. But I ain't <laughs> trying to bang with them. They about six five, two forty solid. I ain't, I ain't going down there. Yeah, you it's a Mac trap. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm so I'm excited about this this book. Zakari goes to college. Yes. Now, could you ever imagine that you would have been an author? When I tell you, <laughs> I, I have literally like the books came in the mail this week. And so I've literally been like in tears because none of this is what I saw in, in my diagram of my life. I'd never even thought of writing a book, never considered it, never. I never wanted to be a public speaker. I'm a I'm an introvert. So all of this is just so just what the Lord had for me is all I can say. You know, this uh -huh. is the walk that was put together for me. And so I'm just being a vessel as I'm supposed to. But this book, it, it, it's surreal to me because I'm just a little girl from Huff. It, it wasn't supposed to, you know, statistics say that I'm not supposed to be doing this walk. But I'm going to keep on pushing because mm -hmm. there's so much that right. needs to be right. talked about. And in this book, I talk about real life for people. So it's a non-traditional family. The, av the average household is not, you know, mother, father, kids. It's not like that. So I wanted people to see what themselves in the book. We're talking about the non-traditional family. Right. The little boy shows emotion in the book. It's always in a big thing about boys not crying or boys not showing emotion. So I put that in the book. So I'm, I'm touching on car seat safety. Like there's real life in this book. And that's kind of how I approach all of my businesses currently. I use real life to try to inspire and encourage people. Good. That's yeah. it. That's it. Right to my next segue. Now, I also know that you're a motivational speaker. So before we get off of this um, G Long Spotlight series, um, to the people who are listening, and watching right now, just like you just said, you said you're a little, you were a little girl from Huff. You wasn't supposed to be walking this walk, but you're walking it. What what would you say to those people who feel as though where they're from or how they were brought up, they can't have better, they can't do better, they can't be this, they can't be that, but they have to be what society or what their surroundings or what mother and father was or, you know, what their neighbors were or what their homeboys or homegirls were. What would you say to them to encourage them to, to just go for it? Like my shirt says, I will breathe. You know, a lot of people have a I can't breathe mentality. But once you change that mentality and realize that that you can breathe, you can live, you can, you know, walk in authority, 
you can live a purpose a purpose filled life. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? Well, I'm I, I just actually had this talk with somebody this morning and they didn't feel like the walk that was in front of them was actually their walk. And what I say is don't be your own barrier. You're the only one stopping yourself from doing what it is that you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Stop accepting the bare minimum. Stop being complacent and just jump. I mean, I did mine in a way that a lot of people wouldn't have did it. I left my job. I left my full time job and I went full 100 percent into trying to help people. And that's that won't work for everybody. But right. make steps in the direction to be able to follow your passion, because unless you follow your passion, you're going to continue to be unhappy. So if it's keeping you up at night, do it. Wow. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely something somebody can stand on and, you know, they can take grasp for that and run with it because God will put purpose in us. He will give us a vision. And he will keep until you walk that thing out, you will be up all it's night. Gonna, it's gonna keep long. you up at night. <laughs> you you're gonna be up at night. It's gonna keep bothering you. It's gonna keep bothering you. It it bothered me to see parents not being empowered and appreciated for who they are. I'm on a lot of boards and I'm on those boards because we deserve a voice. You have a voice. It's just about how you use your voice. So you got you right. gotta you gotta move. You can't stand still. You have to move. Wow. So before I leave now, for the people who are watching and listening right now, if they wanted to get in contact with you, what is your contact information? Facebook, Instagram, uh for the old school people, they remember <laughs> Black Planet. And MySpace. I know you don't have that stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't right? have it. You know, I, I would hope not. I would I have, have to do it. We'll be doing a family intervention. Yeah, I don't have any of those. But they can find me on Facebook. Um, Getting Our Babies to College 101 has a page. 1000 Ties has a page. Or they could just go to my website. My website, I have three websites. But my personal page, JawanSmith.com has all of my public speaking information. You can book me for a consultation to talk about potential speaking engagements. Um, you can book me for getting our babies to college or 1000 ties. I also do a lot of speaking at shelters. So um, working with domestic violence victims. So I am also available in that capacity. And they can email me, Jawan at gobtc 101com That's getting our babies to college 101. Jawan at gobtc 101com Instagram is MZ, MZ underscore MJ underscore. So Ms. MJ underscore. Twitter is gobtc 101 Most of it is gobtc. My website is gobtc 101. Thousand ties is a thousand ties.net. So they can reach me in multiple ways. You could just Google me and it'll all come up. Yeah, I, I was saying you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, they can, if they Google me, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll all pop up if they just put my name in. Jawan Smith, J-O-W-A-N Smith, S-M-I-T-H. You definitely have a lot of great things going on. And I want to thank you so much, Joanne, for joining me on the G-Long Spotlight Series. And y'all, make sure y'all get Zakari Goes to College. Today is the official release day uh, date for that book. So make sure make sure y'all um, get that book. Make sure y'all make that book go viral. Tweet it on um, Twitter, you know, Instagram, Facebook, you know, hashtag it on, hashtag it on Facebook. That you know, that's something positive, something good. And that's that's what we need. We need more of that. And I'm excited for your journey. I'm Thank rooting you on, I'm cheering you on, whatever you need me to do. I'm there to help you. I'm there to push you. Little cousin, I'm proud of you and I love Thank you. you. Love you too. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, God bless you. We'll we'll wrap shortly. And definitely when you get that um one thousand ties to Baltimore. We definitely have your back. We are definitely coming. Right. I've been working with, with Cousin Peggy, so we'll definitely be there. All right. God bless you. We are out.
It has been another great show. And we'll catch y'all next time. Your boy G Long, little cousin Jawan, we out. G like G Long Spotlight Series. I'll let y'all next.